what's up everybody my name's austin my name is aaron and welcome back everybody to altcoin daily we're not there yet but we'll get there i want to talk about how it all started we're in los angeles struggling in the entertainment industry what else is out there i would spend many a sleepless night wondering what's my purpose it's scary to look up at the stars and in question whether you're going to be able to help people seriously would I be able to make a difference? I think the story of Altcoin Daily is a story of America. We grew up in Ohio, family was working class. Actually really credit my dad for giving us our work ethic. A lot of people now think it's crazy that we make a video every day, but to me, that's not crazy. It just, hey, gotta work every day, right? I mean, honestly, Aaron and I weren't big fighters. Oftentimes, I think we were really good at de-escalating. And also because, again, there's two of us. And if you mess with one of us, you're going to mess with both of us. In terms of each other, we used to wrestle each other a lot when we were kids. When I was a very little kid, I wanted to be a veterinarian, you know, take care of animals because I like pets. And then I wanted to be an actor and a filmmaker. And we moved out to Los Angeles. And that dream did come true. It's like starting fresh sleeping on my friend's couch, didn't have a place, didn't have a job. Like we were in college at the time. I remember being in the, our fraternity's computer lab. And I think it came up on Reddit that it was probably a time where the Bitcoin pizza guy, you know, spent 10,000 Bitcoins for the pizza. And I remember reading the story and it was just like, oh, that's cool. They, there's a use case, people are using it. First of all, at that time, me and my ex-girlfriend, we broke up. So all of a sudden, I had a lot more free time. You know, I had the uh, obligatory Uber driver on my way to a comedy show in, in Los Angeles telling me about he 3 x his money on an altcoin called Firecoin. So I, I thought maybe it'd be a good idea to get into cryptocurrency trading. My story, in the most simplistic sense, is when Aaron first turned me on the crypto, I think it was probably... Hey man, have you heard about Bitcoin? And I just probably looked at him and thought, uh, yeah, I heard about the meme. I didn't understand why something like Bitcoin could have value. And I, you know, honestly, I think it was just like waking up in the morning because Aaron and I were in the same apartment, constantly waking up. And then Aaron would be at breakfast listening to crypto content, trying to learn as much as possible. And then I would sort of just like slowly learn along the way. Definitely before 2016, 2017, there was hardly anybody. There was Roger Ver, Andreas Antonopoulos making kind of like long, long form videos, not specifically meant for YouTube or podcasting. There was this hunger, this need to find out good cryptocurrency information, and we wanted to fill that void. Since this is my first video, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is Aaron from Altcoin Daily. Uh, this is a new channel, obviously. Thank you for joining me. Who am I? I'm just a normal guy. I've been involved in the crypto space for over a year now. I've you know, had investments for about a year. Um, and with those investments, I've made some decent coin. So uh, yeah, I've just basically, I've self-educated myself. I just have a general interest in the community and the technology, and I've learned a lot, and I'm learning every single day. That's who I am now. Welcome back, everybody. This is Altcoin Daily, as I'm sure you know. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back, guys, to Altcoin Daily. And I remember I, I told Austin, hey, I started this YouTube channel. You can do it with me. It goes over Bitcoin and crypto content. We have a thousand subscribers. And Austin interjected and said, how many of those thousand subscribers did you pay for? Because he couldn't believe it. Thousand subscribers. I said zero. I think, one, it speaks to the consistency of the content we put out. We drop a video every single day, rain or shine, bull or bear market. I'm just talking about this industry. I'm constantly under threat from my followers. I'll take back the like, I'll take back the view. It's part of the internet, but you know what? I just have to keep doing what's true to me. If you reach a big enough audience, there's always gonna be people that threaten violence or threaten you in some way. I don't even like to acknowledge those people because once you feed the troll, then they just grow bigger. I like to turn my attention as best I can towards like responding to our audience that has interesting things to say about the topic, that likes hearing about the topics. And you know, people talk about how 
with cryptocurrency, with Bitcoin, we're in a digital asset gold rush. Well, I think we're in a content creation gold rush as well, where it's never been easier to produce your own content, upload your own content, and find an audience. Welcome back, everybody. It's Altcoin Daily. I watch the market every single day. I'm constantly reading articles, and then I make videos about it. Yes. Welcome. Good job clicking on the video today. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. All right. I got my coffee. I got my computer. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. All right. Welcome back, everybody. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. All right. Welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily. All right. Yeah, we got Influence of the Year and Best crypto youtube news channel we got honored with those awards and are just generally successful number one because we're consistent people were part of their routine they get used to tuning in and number two we provide a lot of value it is very rewarding to have a successful youtube channel and to be in the forefront of this cultural monetary and technological revolution Somebody came up to me at a meetup and said, because of your channel and getting the cryptocurrency information on a daily basis, me and my father have gotten a lot closer. In 2020, my mom got COVID. She was very old. And anyways, me and my father had kind of like a falling out. And then my mom was gone. And then in 2021, me and my father solved our relationship and got a lot closer by just talking about your daily content you know, every single day. And it's stuff like that, that, you know, really means a lot to me. And it's great to hear that cryptocurrency or our content can bring people together. Being a crypto YouTuber or YouTuber in general wasn't a possibility when I was a kid. And I wanted to be an actor and a filmmaker and we moved out to Los Angeles. I would say I am living my dream right now. When I was growing up, I wanted to be an astronaut. And turns out that I got to the moon in another way. I love working with my brother, how much of a teammate he is. So I love you, bro. Love you. Love you.